dear parents and learners, I'm Teacher Mitch. Welcome back to another video lesson in Mathematics 6. This lesson is for week 5 of the third quarter, which is about calculating speed, distance, and time. Math Base Learning Goal Calculates speed, distance, and time. Let's have the meaning of distance, speed, and time. Distance. Distance is the total length between two positions. Ang distance ay tumutukoy sa layo ng dalawang lugar. Example, distance of Bulacan to Baguio City, 200 kilometers. Speed. Speed is a scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving. Speed can be thought of as rate which an object covers distance. Ang speed ay tumutukoy sa kung gaano kabilis ang isang bagay. Example, 55 km per hour. Time. Time is the quantity measured or measurable period during which an action, process, or condition exists or continues. Ang time ay ang oras o kung gaano katagal or kapilis nangyari ang isang bagay. Example, 4 hours. Calculating distance. The units of measurement of distance are kilometer, km, meter, m, centimeter, cm, feet, ft, miles, mi. Using the magic triangle to calculate D or distance, letter S and T are next to each other. It means multiplication. So we can say that the formula for calculating distance is distance equals speed times time or D equals S times T. Calculating distance. Problem number one. We had a family vacation in Baguio. My father drove our van from city of Malolos to Baguio City at an average speed of 55 kilometers per hour for a total of four hours. How far did we travel? Let's analyze the problem. In this problem, we were asked about the distance we traveled. Ang keyword po dito ay far means distance. Given informations, 55 kilometers per hour, speed, 4 hours, time. Using the DST triangle, ang formula for distance is distance equals speed times time. Speed is 55 kilometers per hour times time which is 4 hours. Cancel out hours. So, 55 times 4 equals 220 kilometers. Answer. We traveled 220 kilometers. Calculating distance. Problem number 2. Calculate the distance that you will travel if you will drive for 3.5 hours at 75 kilometers per hour. Let's analyze the problem. In this problem, we were asked about the distance traveled. Ang keyword po dito ay distance. Given information, 75 km per hour, speed, 3.5 hours, time. Using the DST triangle, the formula for distance is distance equals speed times time. Speed is 75 km per hour times time, which is 3.5 hours. Cancel out hours. 75 times 3.5, the answer is 262.5 kilometers. Answer, you will travel a distance of 262.5 kilometers. Calculating speed. Speedometer or speed meter is an instrument on a vehicle's dashboard indicating its speed. The units of measurement of speed are kilometer per hour, 
or km slash h or kph. Minute per second or mean slash sec. Centimeter per second or cm slash sec. Millimeter per second or mm slash sec. Using the magic triangle to calculate S or speed, since D is over T, so it means division, we can derive the formula of speed as speed equals distance divided by time, or S equals D over T. Calculating speed Problem number one. A car travels 120 kilometers in 2 hours. Find the speed of the car. Let's analyze the problem. In this problem, we were asked about the speed of the car. Ang keyword po dito ay ang speed. Given information, 120 kilometers, distance, 2 hours, time. To find the speed, gagamitin natin ang DST triangle. The formula for speed is speed equals distance divided by time. Kung titingnan natin ang ating triangle, ang distance ay nasa taas at ang time ay nasa baba. So, ang gagamitin natin operation ay divide. Distance, 120 km. Divided by time, 2 hours. 120 divided by 2 equals 60 km per hour or 60 kph. Answer. The car travels 60 kph per km per hour. Calculating speed. Problem number 2. A man rides the bike with a distance of 60 kilometers in 3 hours. Calculate the speed of the bike. Let's analyze the problem. In this problem, we were asked about the speed of the bike. Ang keyword po dito ay speed. Given information, 60 kilometers. Distance, 3 hours. Time. To find the speed, gagamitin ulit natin ang DST triangle. The formula for speed is speed equals distance over time. Distance is 60 kilometers divided by time, which is 3 hours. 60 divided by 3 equals 20 kilometers per hour, or 20 kph. Answer. The bike travels 20 kph or 20 kilometers per hour. Calculating speed. Problem number three. Samuel can type 975 words in 25 minutes. Calculate his typing speed in words per minute. Let's analyze the problem. In this problem, we were asked about Samuel's typing speed in words per minute. Ang keyword po dito ay typing speed. Given informations, 975 words, 25 minutes. In this example, papalitan natin ang distance per hour ng word per minute to calculate Samuel's typing speed. Formula, typing speed equals word per minute. 975 words divided by 25 minutes equals 39 words per minute. Answer. Samuel can type 39 words per minute. Calculating time. The units of measurement of time are R, H, minute, mean, second, sec. Using the magic triangle, to calculate T or time, D is over S. So we can derive the formula for time as distance divided by speed. So ang magiging formula natin ay time equals distance divided by speed. Or T equals D over S. 
Calculating time. Problem number one. A train travel 555 km or kilometers at an average speed of 60 kph or kilometer per hour. How long did the journey take? Let's analyze the problem. In this problem, we were asked about the journey to. Ang keyword po dito ay long means time. Given informations, 60 kph speed, 555 km distance. Using the DST triangle, ang formula for time is time equals distance divided by speed. Distance is 555 kilometers divided by speed which is 60 km per hour. Kung mapapansin natin, dalawang beses po tayong magdi-divide. So, isimplify natin using the rules in dividing fractions. 555 kilometer over 1. Next, change the division sign to multiplication sign. So, magiging times. And then, get the reciprocal of the divisor. Ang divisor natin ay 60 km per hour. Balik ta rin po natin, magiging R over 60 km. And then, cancel out kilometers. 555 times R, 555. 1 times 60 equals 60. So, i-divide natin. 555 divided by 60, the answer is 9.25 hours. Or, 9 hours and 15 minutes. Answer. The journey took 9 hours and 15 minutes. Calculating time. Problem number 2. A bus traveled 252 kilometers at 72 km per hour. How long does it travel? Let's analyze the problem. In this problem, we were asked about the bus traveled. Ang keyword po natin ay long. It means time. Given informations, 252 kilometers, distance, 72 km per hour, speed. Using the DST triangle, ang formula natin ay time equals distance divided by speed. Distance is 252 kilometers divided by speed. 72 kilometers per hour. Isimplify po natin using the rules in dividing fractions. 252 kilometers over 1. Change the division sign, magiging times. And then get the reciprocal of 72 kilometer per hour. Balik tarin natin, magiging R over 72 kilometers. Cancel out natin ang kilometers. 252 times R, 252. 1 times 72, 72. So, i-divide na lang po natin. 252 divided by 72, the answer is 3.5 hours or 3 hours and 30 minutes. Answer, the bus traveled for 3 hours and 30 minutes.